guys, how's it going? So I'm back today with another Wig Wednesday video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you hair, um, a hair, why do I keep saying hair? I'll be showing you guys a wig from RPGHair.com. Now this is a 360 wig, it is a body wave texture, and it is 18 inches long, 150% density. Now if I forgot anything for this video, I will link it down below as usual. Sometimes I'll put to be continued or to be posted just because I'm like in a rush when I'm trying to do it, but... For the purpose of this video, just look down below. I will post the links and everything for this hair down below. Now, it is a natural color, so it doesn't get any better than this. You can dye and color these wigs if you want to because it is 100% virgin human hair. Now, for this one, I didn't leave it in the body wave texture just because body wave is not a real texture. So, when you wet this up, it's not going to go back to that little S pattern that you see when you first get the hair. So, what I decided to do was just go in, go in with my Duvoli 32 millimeter curling wand and I just put some curls in it. Now, I think it looks really, really cute like this. It did kind of shrink the length, the length a little bit, but I think it's going to look nice once I um, finger comb it out. But I will show you guys how I do that once I've installed the hair. Um, it does have good parting space. You get about four inches in the front and about like two inches in the back because it is a 360 wig. Now it is your regular cap construction. You get three combs at the front, one at the base, two on the sides, as well as one in the back with an adjustable strap. Now, I usually get like a small size cap because my head is a bit smaller. So, um, this one is actually a well fit cap. It does have a little bit of stretchiness. So, if you do have a bigger head and you're ordering it in like the medium or large, you will be more than uh, lucky and you actually have a lot of room. So, definitely, I would recommend sizing down a little bit on these. So, yeah. But like I said, you can always adjust it by adding an elastic band and also just adjusting the straps yourself. So, that's a plus plus. I did just take a little bit of the hairs out of the parting space just because. I just thought it was a little bit thick what I did notice with this one is they did pre-tweeze the front so you do have like a really good curvature on the hairline and it looks perfect so guys if you're interested in seeing what this unit looks like on me today I would like you to stay tuned and keep on watching like finalized and everything and might I say I really really think that this is plus plus and I know you guys are feeling me on this one this one looks really cute now like I said I did go in with my curling wand and I did put some curls in it just to kind of give it like a little bit of a different look like I said um that old body wave S shape doesn't last so I did want to give you guys like false pretense like oh you know let me just get, get this wig because look at how she wore in that false body wave texture so I want to show you guys that there's potential with this wig so therefore you can curl it you can straighten it you can do whatever you want crimp whatever your heart desires um the actual um curling wand set looks actually really cute with this one it is 18 inch so I do have it a little bit shorter now so I think it looks really good guys 
And I did like play around with the baby hairs just a little bit. I added a little bit of got to be glue on it, but got to be glue was really messy. So that's just, it's kind of like an up and down with that type of situation. But I did try to add a little bit of got to be glue to it. And I did use my BH Cosmetic uh, Contour Powder Palette just to kind of slap the powder on. And I do sometimes put the powder around these parts too because closer to the perimeter of the hair, you do get kind of like, um, because they did pre-tweeze it, so you'll get a little bit of skin exposure from the lace. So I do try to powder that down so it doesn't look so fake. So that's why you'll see me powdering around the edges sometimes with my unit. But for this unit, guys, I think that this is perfect. Like I said, it is an 18 inch long, so it's not too, too long at all. It touches like right about there there <laughs> and I just think it looks really good it's very sexy and sultry and because it's lightweight and it's not long you can go out like in an, on a nice hot day or like summer day and not be too worried about your hair touching your back or being a little bit annoying like really really annoying this is perfect hair for that so yeah so make sure you guys leave your comments down below don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you have it thank you for joining me today on today's wig wednesday and i will catch you guys later bye guys